yes friends good morning next question from dhruva entertainment and vidu classes friends this question from intermediate first year biology in human welfare friends two marks question okay friends these are our definition friends you have to know these are the basics you have to know all these definitions okay friends now what is our question friends distinguish between mechanical vector and biological vector friends mechanical vector and biological vector vector friends here you have to concentrate on three words mechanical biological and vector first you know what is vector friends you know cockroach you know house fly you know mosquito what are these friends these are insects they carry harmful microorganisms from one host to another host from one man to another man okay friends so what is vector friends vector is an insect friends vector is an insect friends it carries a parasite from one host to another host friends in biology whenever you hear the word vector you have to recall the insect see friends here you see this is house fly see friends cockroaches cockroach and mosquito see these are all what friends these are all insects what type of insect the insect they are they are carrying parasites from one host to another host so vectors are insects they carry a parasite from one host to another host now you know the definition of vector vector friends now we have two types of vectors mechanical vectors and biological vectors see friends in the name itself ind indicates mechanical means there is no change in the there is no modifications in the parasite in that vector in the biological vector some changes takes place in the parasite that is biological vector now we'll see friends come to mechanical vector friends so it is it transfers the infective states of a parasite from one host to another host same friends the first point is same in both sir in mechanical vector and biological vector both it transfers the infective states of parasite from one host to another host there is no change both mechanical vector and biological vector both help in the transfer of infective stages friends infective stages of the parasite you know what is the infective stages of entomistolytica tetranucleate stage what is the infective stage of plasmodium friends it is sporozoite what is the infective stage of ascaris it is second larval stage like that these are the vectors which transfer the infective stages of the parasite from one host to another host both friends mechanical vector and biological vector but what is the difference see friends in the mechanical vector vector is not infected by parasite see friends parasite won't cause any damage to the vector in the mechanical vector see friends vector is not infected by parasite whereas in biological vector see friends vector is infected by parasite in mechanical vector vector is not infected by parasite in biological vector vector is infected by parasite so parasite infects to the vector that is biological vector the parasite won't infect the vector that is mechanical vector okay friends now see third point friends important point friends in a mechanical vector parasite does not undergo any development friends this is important in mechanical vector so it is carrying parasite from one host to another host during that time the parasite does not undergo any development in the vector before transfer to the another host parasite does not undergo any development parasite does not undergo any development in the vector before 
it transfer to another host whereas in biological vector see friends parasite undergoes a part of the development before transfer to another host parasite undergoes a part of the development before transfer to another host friends here you have to recall the entomohistolytica what is the entomohistolytica friends what is its infective stage tetanucleate stage this tetanucleate stages are transfer to the new host without any modification friends by which friends by mechanical vector then at the same time you have to recall the plasmodium see the plasmodium intermediate host is what friends female anapheles must in the female anapheles must plasmodium gets some changes friends okay so parasite undergo a part of the lab development before transfer to another host now see friends example for mechanical host house flies and cockroaches in the case of entamoeba you see friends entamoeba is a parasite it is infected from one host to another host by whom friends by the house flies and cockroaches whereas female anopheles must in the case of plasmodium this is biological vector female anopheles must is a biological vector friends whereas cockroaches and house flies are mechanical vectors okay friends this is about our question what's our question friends write the difference between mechanical vector and biological vector once again friends in the mechanical vector it transfers the infective stage of parasite from one host to another host in the mechanical vector vector is not infected by parasite vector is not infected by parasite in the biological vector vector is infected by parasite in the mechanical vector parasite does not undergo any development parasite does not undergo any development here parasite undergoes a part of the development okay friends this is about mechanical vector and biological vector thank you friends good day here.